Hey guys, it's Joe from PocketNow.com, and you know what? Google's pretty cool, and it's really pretty fast. You type something in, you either hit the I'm feeling lucky or the search button, and eh, usually within a second or two, you get the results back. Some people think that's not fast enough, and Google has listened to them, so now you can start typing and get results back before you even hit enter. Well, it's been out there on the desktop for, I don't know, uh, what, two weeks, three weeks maybe? Now it's coming to Android and iPhone. So let's go take a look and see how it works. All right, Instant Search is divided up into two different types, if you will. First is Search Suggestion, and that's where you type something into the search bar and it says, hey, based on what you've typed, I think you mean this kind of search. Now that's an Ajax call or an asynchronous request where you're sending little bits of information from here out to Google and back again in the background without having to reload the whole page. It just does uh, little bits and pieces of the pages and it does that all asynchronously so you don't have to wait for a full page post back. That's a lot of geeky web terminology and if you want me to go into that in a separate post, there's an entirely different website that you can go to for that. Let's focus here on Android and also on, uh, on iPhone as well because this update came out today for both Android 2.2 and above and for iPhone. So I'm not going to show you on an iPhone or an iPad, but the result is basically the same and you don't even need an app for this. This is right there in their, their web experience. So what do you do? The other part, the other kind of Ajax request here is, is kind of kind of cool and we've had it on the desktop browser for a while to get it what I'm gonna need to do first is turn this instant search on so we're just gonna tap that and just like that we've got this instant which is still in beta turned on and then we can turn it off if we want to now I'm gonna open up the keyboard here so we can start typing this in so we'll put our cursor back in there and I'm going to type in P O C and this first part, that's the search suggestions like we were just talking about. But you can see down here I've already got some search results, both sponsored results and then down underneath that I have actual search results. So it's thinking I'm looking for the Poconos or maybe Pocahontas or uh, Pocono Casinos, whatever, right? Which I'm not. So obviously that's not right. But if it were, I'd have my search results there. I wouldn't have to hit enter. I wouldn't have to wait for it to go out to Google and come back with the results because it's already right there. So that's going to save me some speed from a user experience but it's actually going to take more time and more overhead from a data uh, or a back-end experience well since you and I don't run Google and, and we don't run AT&T or T-Mobile that's not much of a concern for us we're end users so let's see how this works with what I'm looking for let's go ahead and continue typing here so I've got POC K E T and now it thinks I'm looking for pocket tanks Official pocket tanks, yada, yada, yada. Well, I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for pocket now. And as I did that, now my instant search results or my, my search suggestions come up with relevant stuff. So I can immediately do one of those searches. But down here in my instant results, it shows me that, hey, look at that. Pocketnow.com is the first result and the second and the third. And wow, look at that. We're doing really well. We're like the whole page when you search for pocket now. But I haven't searched for it. I haven't hit enter yet. This is just all instantly returned to me without hitting enter. So it's it's kind of like the I'm feeling lucky button on the desktop version of Google on steroids. Kind of neat. Where does this analogy fail? Well, let me show you. Now, I pulled the keyboard out here for a reason. Let me switch devices now. This is a G2. I'm going to switch over to the HTC Desire HD. And we're going to do the same thing. We are going to turn on the instant search and we are going to come in here and search for pocket now. So let's start typing P O C K. We're waiting. E. And for some reason, instant bait is off. Okay, maybe I did that wrong, but let's go ahead and start over here. We'll turn this on. Now it should be on. Come back in here. P-O-C-K-E-T, so we're back to pocket tanks, N-O-W. All right, now here's what I wanted to show you. Right up at the top, we've got our search bar. We've got three search suggestions, 
we've got one search result and we've got our big on-screen keyboard. Now if we come over here into landscape mode, we don't even have that anymore. We just have our search bar, our search suggestions, and our keyboard. But let's switch back to portrait. So here we are. I've only got one result. If this isn't the result that I'm looking for, it's not really all that helpful. Now, yes, if I hit the back button and get rid of the keyboard, you can see I've got a couple more results in here. In fact, quite a few of them. So that's great, but that soft keyboard kind of gets in the way. So is Instant Search as useful on handheld devices like Android and the iPhone and iPad and whatnot as it is on a desktop device uh, or a laptop or a netbook? I don't know, not so much unless your result is the first one in line. Now, the search suggestions, are they still useful? Absolutely. I think this is one of the best things that Google has done. It helps you find what you're looking for without you necessarily knowing what you're looking for because it's got these suggestions in here. If you wanted to look up the uh, the Pocket Now HD2 Android, if that were what I was looking for, I could tap on that without knowing that it's an HD2 that I'm looking for or information about the HD2 on pocketnow.com. So, kind of helpful. This, according to Google's release, is only available for Android 2.2 and above. They have to throw in the above because Android 2.3 should be out later this month, at least in the SDK, and Honeycomb should be out sometime after that. This should work on all those browsers and up. Does it work on 2.0 devices, on uh, 1.5 and 1.6 devices? I don't know. Um, on 2.1, I don't know. That's where we need you guys to tell us. If you've got one of those older devices, or, you know, they're not even all that old, but if you've got 2.1 or below, and you don't have the option for instant search, go ahead and leave those uh, that information in the comments. If you've got an iPhone, like a, a 3G, 3GS, we'd like to know if you have that feature in, uh, in your browser experience as well. So, go ahead and let us know that in the comments. Subscribe to our video channel. Uh, if you'd like to continue seeing stuff like this, of course, uh, Google is big in the search industry and searching is very big on handheld and mobile devices. And of course, we want to be able to not only stay up on, on top of that ourselves, but keep you up to speed as well. And you can't do that without subscribing to our video channel and visiting pocketnow.com frequently. So showing off what you can do with the new instant search on the Google website from your pocket device, I'm Joe for pocketnow.com.